Hi Scorpio, this is your monthly May tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances, and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of May. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this month. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Hierophant. In the potential outcome we have the Queen of Cups clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces. Or you could be dealing with pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. So I really like the fact that the very first card that came out is the Knight of Pentacles and we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, it's all about the same offer that's coming your way, Scorpio. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or the Knight of Pentacles together with the Ace of Pentacles and actually the Eight of Pentacles as well. The card clarifying the Knight of Pentacles symbolizes how serious this person is. This person is very grounded, this person is very stable, they could be financially secured. The uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four knights, so this person prepared <laughs> for this offer, they thought this offer through. And uh, the Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, basically um, underlines the fact that this person is ready to work on this relationship, this person is ready to invest into it, this person is ready to um, spend as much time on it as possible. The next card I came out is the Fool. The Fool is all about a brand new beginning and uh, the Fool is also about taking a leap of faith. So it could be your energy. Perhaps you barely know this person. Perhaps you have doubts about this person because the Fool is always about taking a risk. So you'll just have to take a risk. You'll just have to believe this person. You'll have to believe uh, what they'll tell you, how serious they are. But um, I don't really see you hesitating. I think you will be uh, giving this person a shot because the next card I came out is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. Or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. In the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Cups clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. The Queen of Cups is you, Scorpio. A male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, the Nine of Cups... Um, the last card in the potential outcome, this is a wish come true card or this is a card of personal satisfaction. The Will of Fortune in the middle, it's uh, one of the major arcana cards on the table. Um, the Will of Fortune is all about starting a new cycle and uh, like I said, I don't really see you resisting, I don't really see you, um, you know, having that much of a problem <laughs> with this beginning. You will be taking a leap of faith with this person. Probably because, as I was already saying, the way they will present this offer to you um, will basically make you believe this person from the get-go. That they're serious, they want to settle down, they're ready to invest, they're ready to do anything it takes for you to feel comfortable, for you to feel safe and secure. And uh, there's also love here, right? It's the way this person loves you that may be a little bit not something you're used to, but I think you're gonna go along with it. I think you'll be on board with uh, this offer. It looks very promising, Scorpio. This person is serious, very serious, very grounded. This person prepared for the offer. Perhaps they've prepared uh, all their life. Perhaps they were saving up. Perhaps they were climbing the um, <clears throat> corporate ladder just to get to this point where when they do make an offer to someone, um, it's going to be clear to the person they're making this offer to that they're that serious, that they're ready, they're prepared, they have all the necessary resources to start a family. That's the feeling I'm getting, Scorpio. Alright, looks very promising, really happy for you. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person going forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the three of ones, we have the star, we have the ten of pentacles, and we have death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or another Scorpio. 
Um, <clears throat> so this month, either you or both of you will be making up your mind. You'll be making a decision to pursue your dreams. And uh, your dream has to do with your family. It has to do with your relationship in some shape or form. Perhaps the two of you are starting uh, your own business together or you could be traveling together and you whatever it is <laughs> you're doing um, it's been something that you always wanted and I think both of you are doing it together because um, we do have a family card so anyway we have the death card on the bottom of the deck this is your card Scorpio this is you I really like the fact that uh, the death card came out and especially the fact that it came out on the bottom of the deck that means you're the one in charge you're the one calling the shots and uh, you'll be the one who is the decision maker, <laughs> right? The first card I came out is the three of ones. The three of ones is my uh, making up your mind card or making a decision and actually starting to do something about it. So it's no longer the two of ones where people just think about something, contemplate, make a decision on uh, whether they want to do something. The three of ones, this is a done deal. This is somebody who made up their mind, this is somebody who made a decision and they're doing something. Right, then we have the star, the star is a personal Aquarius card, or the star is a wish come true or a dream. So, you guys are making a decision to pursue your dream and uh, it has to do with your family or your uh, relationship. Because the last card I came out is the Ten of Pentacles. This is one of the marriage cards or this is one of the committed relationship cards. And I do feel like this is the two of you doing it together. Alright, even though you will be the one making the final decision. Because like I said, the death card, that is you. You're the one calling the shots here. Alright, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this month. Keep in mind that it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, or a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be on the most recent X. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords, then we have Justice, and we also have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So every single card on the table has swords in it, right? Even the Justice card is holding up a sword. Justice, by the way, could be uh, Libra, because Justice is the personal Libra card, and uh, Libra is an air sign, right? The air signs are all about swords. <laughs> the Queen of Swords could be that person you're dealing with. And to be honest with you, um, I don't really see this connection being revived. Nope. There will be an attempt. There will be an attempt, but um, I don't know if this is you reaching out to someone uh, like an air sign or if this is an air sign reaching out to you but uh, this is not going to end well it's not going to be pretty as a matter of fact it's going to get ugly because we have the five of swords and the ten of swords the first two cards those two cards could symbolize the end of a very rough patch the end of the two of you fighting the end of um, a very conflicting period of your life so it could be a reversal of the Five of Swords. The, the Five of Swords, this is when two people just break apart. This is when people say, you know what, screw it, I'm out of here. This is a card of a major fight and a breakup. So since it's clarified by the Ten of Swords, it could symbolize a reversal of that, the end of that. But I still don't really see the two of you getting back together, to be honest with you. Because the next card I came out is the Nine of Swords. This is a card of somebody who is depressed, sad, somebody who is grieving something, somebody who can't sleep at night. Then we have Justice. Justice could be a major apology card, but most likely this is the person who you're dealing with. So they still got the sword out. And so is the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This queen, this person, male or female, they still got their sword out. So I don't really see a reconciliation here, unfortunately. All right, Scorpio? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this month. We have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands, and we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, we do not have any major Arcana cards on the table. Um, that's one thing. And uh, this spread is about some kind of an offer coming your way. It's going to be a small offer. 
very small offer to be honest with you and uh, you will have to think about whether you want to accept it or not. So the first card I came out is the Five of Pentacles in this spread. This is probably you, Scorpio, who either doesn't have enough money right now or you could be without a job or you could be feeling like uh, you need some assistance. This is what I see here, Scorpio. And uh, here comes this assistance with the Page of Pentacles, or it could be a new job offer, or it could, it could be a side gig offer, because the Page of Pentacles is not a lot of money, but it is money after all. The Eight of Wands right next to the deck, this is a card of communication. This is um, an email, a letter. Um, this is a phone call coming your way with the uh, Page of Pentacles offer and the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is either your current energy where you are just sitting at home because you don't have a job or this is uh, you feeling kind of sad about your current situation or this is you who will have to think this new offer through. Especially if this is a side gig. Will you have enough time for your regular 9 to 5 job plus this new side gig? Or is this something you want to accept? Because it's not a lot of money. Right? So, yep, yeah, that's what I got for you, Scorpio. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Scorpio, for the whole month of May. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. So, this spread is about somebody coming back from the past. It could be that same person we saw in the X spread, but that spread was all about swords. So, it could be a different person. I do think this is somebody coming back from the past. It doesn't feel like somebody new. It feels like somebody you've already dealt with. So, you may have more than one person trying to... Um, get back together with you. This person, however, is uh, someone you should stay away from. The devil on the bottom of the deck, this is either a Capricorn you're dealing with or this person is very toxic, very, very toxic. They don't want to have a relationship with you, they just want to use you, abuse you, they just want to have a little fun with you and be on their merry way. But they will come forward as the Knight of Cups. It could be a water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces, or they will come forward and uh, they will tell you everything that you want to hear in a situation like that. They will tell you they love you, they will tell you they want to take care of you, they'll tell you they've changed. No, they have not, they have not changed. They're just trying to trick you, they're, they're lying to you. Right, because uh, the next card that came out is the Nine of Wands, and we also have the Four of Pentacles right next to it. Both cards are about somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Both cards are representing you, Scorpio. This is a suggestion or a word of wisdom spread, right? So this is a suggestion for you to shut down and uh, don't open up to this person and uh, block them any everywhere you can. Do not let this person back into your life because you. If you give them a small chance, if you give them um, a chance to talk to you, they may talk you into it. And it'll be the same crap all over again. So be very careful, Scorpio. With uh, If you can think of someone who really hurt you in the past, if you can think of someone who took advantage of you, it could be the person who may try to um, get back into your life and nothing good is going to come out of it. All right, Scorpio, unfortunately I have to, I have to end on such a negative note, but this is a, a precaution. <laughs> you got to be careful. Um, so that's what I got for you for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing month.